beautiful Tuesday night and we're coming to you live from the studios of Cosmopolitan Television. This is Sunsum and Sem and this also doubles up as the midweek service of the Christ Cosmopolitan Incorporated Commission. This is the point you want to call a friend, a family member, a loved one, tell them to be seated before the television set because Sunsum and Sem is coming streaming live on Cosmopolitan TV this very moment. Again if you're watching us on Facebook, we encourage you firstly to create a watch party so that others that are connected to you via Facebook will come and watch the stream and be blessed by the teaching that is coming your way tonight. Again, if you're watching us on Facebook, please um, remember as the teaching goes on, you can go into the comment section. Um, let us hear from you. Let us receive feedback from you. Let us receive comments from you, how you're understanding the teaching that is coming your way. Um, if there's something that's baffling your mind, let us know. If something um, is in sync with your experience of what God's servant is talking about. Let us hear from you in the comment section today. Remember, you can click on the share button and share to your wall, share to any page you're on, any group you're on, on Facebook. Remember, you can also copy the link and post it on your WhatsApp status, your Facebook story, Instagram story, any social media app you're on, so that others that are connected to you via Facebook um, will come and watch and be blessed by the teaching. Again, if you're watching us on YouTube, we are happy to be with you tonight. If you're watching us on YouTube, first and foremost, you want to click on the subscribe button so that um, click on the subscribe button and also click on the bell notification um, insignia that is next to it so that whenever we are streaming on this platform you will receive notifications um, from us concerning um, whatever we have in store for you and remember there's the time you want to copy the link and share the link you want to share the link share the link share the link with someone share it with someone share with select 10 people on your contacts list and share the link with them let them know that soon soon is live right here on cosmopolitan television this is your spiritual master class and we are delving shortly into the death of god's word tonight i have right here with me co-hosting tonight elder sewa shalom elder sewa shalom pastor daniel yeah, how are you doing i'm great yourself I'm, I'm well i'm well doing Great. How's your week been so far? It's been good. It's been, it's good. been good by grace. Yes, um, I'm sure we are poised for tonight's teaching. Very, very excited to be here. Very yeah. excited to hear from the man of God. We can't wait mm. to have our spirits charged. That's right. And the Bible said that a strong spirit will sustain our bodies. That's right. And so we need to constantly energize mm. our mm. spirits. Mm. The same way we go to the mm. gym for our bodies. That's what, for exercise, that will profit our bodies the same way you should meet us on Sunsun Muslim for the gym that would exercise your spirit. Wonderful. Just as Elder Sewa mentioned, the gym that exercises your spirit, causes your spirit to develop muscles and strength is right here on Sunsun Muslim. And remember, if you have not shared the link, if you have not called somebody to watch, you are actually causing the person to lose out on blessings tonight because God's servant is ready with a package and a bundle of God's blessing. And we are delighted to have God's servant right here in the studio with us. Shalom. Ooh, shalom, <laughs> Mr. Daniel. It's a joy having you here. Very excited we are, to we are excited. Um, the past few weeks have been eye-opening. Uh, the, the deaths we have gone to, the expansive insight that has come of the universe in which we live in. Yes. And what exists with us <laughs> in this universe yes. and surrounds us and operates with us. Right the, with us. Yes, the, the, the parallel worlds that exist with that, that for many a time we are ignorant of mm. and yet all manner of activities are going on there and it impacts life in our plane as it is. We are so grateful for the insights that you have brought us. And tonight, we are here for you to take us deeper, deeper. <laughs> Last week, um, you, you, you took us on an expansive insight concerning ecotonic beings. And you promised to 
zoom us and open up and scatter yeah. our minds. Yeah. <laughs> so we are here for God's word tonight. <laughs> All right, let's take a word of prayer. <laughs> Father, we thank you for our lives. Jesus' name. Has it not been you? Mm. Where would we have been? Hallelujah. We acknowledge it's been your grace all through. Yes. And tonight, we're under your feet. Jesus. Speak the word. Jesus. Let it stand. Jesus. Cause understanding to come to your people. Yes, Lord. All the homes that are set to hear your word, bless them. Jesus. Jesus name. We declare that everyone in their various locations as they tune in, let the airwaves be consumed with great and greater blessings. In Jesus' name. This we believe you have done. In Jesus' name. And we say amen to that in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Good, 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 good. <sighs> the subsequent editions of Susan Musem has been very dramatic. <laughs> I should say very dramatic. Yes. Dramatic in the sense that we are not just making up stories. We are, for us, by the word of God, making conclusions on the universe and the multiversal realms of God. As far as God's word says something, we know that he created all things by his word. He spoke and they came into being. And so for us to find out what exists, we cannot assume that what we see with our optical eyes mm. is all there is to the word of God That's true. in creation. Mm. And so of a truth, um, to go into the Bible and to settle the truth of other beings like sirens, yes. like mermaids mm. that we have done and we would further on go deeper. We started with selves yes. and it was such a beautiful experience looking at it from all the Hebrew related languages from English, yes. from Latin, even from the languages of Persia. Yes. And then we looked at typical Akan language, which we know is Hebrew. Yes. In the midst of all of that, we realized that. <laughs> The people groups in the understanding of what fairies are, what dwarfs are, yes. they were actually speaking the same thing. Yes. Yeah. Their definitions were actually biblical concepts of who and what dwarfs are. And so in picking it up from there, many of people think that these are what they refer to as fairy tales. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so if they are fairy tales, then they are not true. Yes. When we say fairy, what does it mean? When we say tales, what do they mean? A tale is a story. Yes. So fairy tale, oh, come on, those are fairy tales. That is to say that uh, these are non-existent yes. things. Yes. It's a myth. It's a myth, mm. that is to say. And so we were in the word, yes. and proven by the word, that the tales may not be true, or may be true, but the concept of beings referred to as fairies actually exist in the Bible. Exactly. And it is the story the Bible has to say about them that now we refer to as biblical fairy tales. That is to say the stories of dwarves mm -hmm. are seen in the Bible. So um, we are not picking up concepts that are anti-biblical that are against the word of God but Yes, you are more emotia. Ain't he a chassis? And I'm seeing a banner emotia one semua. And me, as I bon samoa semua. The chimney. So we're talking about elves and fairies. And we understood that 
elves are gigantical. Mm -hmm. They are gigantic. Yes. And fairies are dwarfs. Yeah. And then also I explained to us that in the fairy realm, we see typically animals in their exhibits, in their appearance. Mm -hmm. And with the elves, we see them appearing typically as hairy beings with human and animalistic natures put together, infused into one. Do the scriptures actually say these things? So that is where we were coming from. Yes, wonderful. Then, in addition, I touch on a very sensitive topic, which is crucial and essential, riveting and defining for many of believers, especially men of God. The sense that dwarves are all demonic is a wrong concept. Mm -hmm. The sense that all elves are all satanic is a wrong concept. Mm -hmm. To think that all dwarves yes. that exist in God's universe yes. are, de are satanic. They are all in all their family and nature, nature. and creation. From the first dwarf to the last dwarf, all of them, all of them are satanic. It's erroneous. It's erroneous. Typically erroneous. Mm. Okay. Because a lot of people have been given to their traditional stories. Yes. And remember that the traditional stories and the other religions who are blatant in evolving and revealing the dwarf operation in their religions, yes. because they are not Christian or anti christic a lot of people have only known about dwarfs, not in a Christian teaching. Typically, yeah. for, a, yeah. for a man of God to even mention that um, they, they, they know dwarfs, yes. or they are <laughs> conscious that there are dwarfs around, yes. I mean, it will cause eyebrows to be raised. Yes. Dwarfs. So for that, every time you are mentioned dwarf, dwarf, dwarf. That may be a man because I came to teach. It's in a place of understanding. Yes. Yes. When you know mm. the word of God, yes. and you are not assuming, mm -hmm. you see, like I said, if you have been in the spirit realm, we are not talking about assumptions. Yes. Yeah. Have you entered the spirit realm? We are not talking about just mere visions. I have been to heaven by vision out of body. Mm -hmm. I have been to heaven in body. So if I'm talking about what I have experienced in heaven, where I know it was heaven, and I met dwarfs there, that instantly would change the entire discourse. discourse mm -hmm. yeah. Because... I went up by revelation yes. and I confirmed it by the truth of scripture, mm -hmm. which is the logos of God. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because my mm -hmm. was mm -hmm. Again, <laughs> So uh, you should understand that the word of God makes us know that on the account of two or three witnesses is a matter established. And God's servant, according to the pattern, uh, the apostolic pattern of presenting um, truth and doctrine, made us understand that firstly, um, he went up by revelation and in encounters and just as paul said by the abundance of revelations and visions he says that i'll come to visions and i'll come to revelations and so we know that in presenting um, an apostolic pattern of presenting truth and doctrine we are looking at visions we are looking at revelations we are looking at what has been established as a foundation already in scripture and so god's servant has made us know that in the course of these teachings that we are dealing with the spirituals so that we will not be ignorant as god as paul said concerning the corinthian church it has been on the premise of what he has seen as a teacher in the word of god it has been by revelation and by visions 
in the body and out of the body in the realms of heavens. It has also come by the means of the sent message that God has placed in his mouth as an apostle. And so the combination of all this presents the tripod of truth that cannot be broken. I mean, a threefold record cannot be broken. We are seeing that which is written in the Logos. We are seeing that which has come by means of revelation and by visions. We are also seeing that which has come by means of the sent word as an apostle. And on this premise, God's servant has come bringing us truth because God has mandated him that he should not shut up and be mute on that which has been shown to him. But the whole body of Christ, there is a portion that he has to fill up in the body. And so that is why we are here. We are here on the assignment and on the mandate that God has placed upon the life of his man servant to bring us this truth. If dwarf simply means short beings, and giants means tall beings, and you believe that angels are giants, and yet you believe that there are fallen angels that are giants, then you should know that there is a parallel between these heights of godly giants and ungodly giants. Precisely. And for, for, for your information, before they became fallen, they were godly. Godly, yes. All right? Yes. So before, if you, your mindset is that before Satan became Satan, what was he? He was godly. Yes. Yeah. So there was that Luciferic being that was a godly being yes. in worship, mm -hmm. in worship of Elohim, in worship of Yahweh, yeah. before he fell. So remember that the word of God said he took what a third of the angels and that simply brings us to the conclusion that they were godly before they became ungodly yes. now if he took the Bible says he drew the third part of the stars that was a third yes. now that caucus of stars that he, he took a third what of the two thirds who are still in heaven who are still in heaven so we, we are literally seeing a parallel. So, we are seeing a heavenly yes, a, a, heavenly, heavy, a set of heavenly beings yes. who have their parallel being the beings that are falling. Who are falling. And so if we are looking at stature, we are yes. looking at makeup, we are yes. looking at composition. They are still, they the, are still same. the same. Yes. Good. So a third of them mm. are followers of Satan. Yes. If let's agree that all the heavenly beings are the stars, mm. which is even not the okay. case. Yes. Okay, so on that um, agreeing principle, mm. if a third of them are followers of Satan, mm. then two thirds are followers of God. Yes. Okay. So whatever beings you would see described mm. as demonic, mm. as satanic, mm. two thirds of those beings are godly. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we are more dwarfs, we are more godly dwarfs than <laughs> satanic dwarfs. <laughs> Monitoring spirits. So, uh huh. And I know, and I say, one of fairies, any self. And you mean so one is answer your elf. Into your can elf, sir, your patrick said attentive for. And your can silver, your patrick in Tintia for. The woman, you know, and you would not be a body, maybe. Into your bet, you are a bonsam, if you say, in some way, you do in common, you soon, 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 and send. So, um, understand from the discourse the God's servant is presented is that fundamentally God is the creator of all things. There yes. is nothing in God's universe that emanated from anywhere outside of God. And so, if you see any creation in, God, in God's universe, it emanated from God. Mm -hmm. Fundamentally, all beings came from God. Previously, all beings, as in stars, as we see in scriptures, were in, were in heaven. Then a third fell with Lucifer, fell with Satan. So prior to their fall, they were in heaven. And they were part of the entire family that was in heaven. Now the part that fell, the one third that fell, are those that have become ungodly or have become demonic or have become satanic. But understand that originally they were godly. They were with God. They were in heaven. And so in looking at how those who are in heaven are, we can clearly tell how those who have also become fallen are. Because they are of the same nature, the same source, and the same composition. They are just parallels. It is on this premise that you should understand that just as they are dwarfs, that a lot of us have become accustomed to because of um, our cultural background and upbringing that they belong to the dark world. Likewise, they are also dwarfs that pertain to the kingdom of heaven. And according to the discourse of scripture, majority of dwarfs actually are godly. Are godly yeah. Because yes. two thirds remain with God in heaven. It was only a third that fell with Satan. 
and have come into the kingdom of darkness. And it's on this course that tonight, God's servant will open us up for us to understand the operations of hells who are the gigantic beings that um, exist both in the kingdom of God and in the kingdom of darkness. Then we also look at um, the fairies. They are the diminutives who are also in the kingdom of God and in the kingdom of darkness. All right. So now, let's go straight to the point. Glory to God. Glory. <laughs> Let's start it this way. Yes. Last week, we realized that when we talk about the word self, mm. mm-hmm. it means a forested being. Yes. It comes from the Latin word silver. Mm-hmm. S-I-L-V-A. Mm-hmm. And that word silver simply means a wood mm-hmm. or of the forest. Mm-hmm. So now, does scripture prove that is it true that there are beings that are of the woods and of the forest? We also understood that when we talk about sylphs yes. or fairies, we are talking about objects that are airy, objects that are in hiding, objects in pits and caves of the earth. We justified. In Philippians 2 verse 10 and Revelation 5.13, we don't need to even read, we did that last week. Yes. When we're talking about ecotonic beings, yes, mm-hmm. that there are beings inside the earth, mm-hmm. there are beings on the earth, and there are beings under the earth. So today, I would want to start up with these ecotonic beings who are fairies, who are souls, who are elves, on the earth, and I will deal with the ecotonic beings in the earth, and I will deal with the ecotonic beings under the earth. Okay. So, these dwarfs are in various habitations connected to the earth because they are normals, but then they are airy. So, principally, um, the sphere of their actual operation is it's earth, earth and, and air. air. Okay. Yes. So, they, they can dwell both in the airy realm yes. and dwell on earth. on earth as well. And they can dwell in the earth, earth. and they can dwell oh. under the earth. Okay, now, the magma in the earth is not a problem for these beings at all. This <laughs> manda is a problem. For yes, this manda is a problem for, but not for mm, dwarves. dwarves. The first thing that would make you know that what we are saying is true is that let's establish that in the book of Genesis, the chapter 3, when God drove man out of the garden, the Bible says God placed a cherub in the way that leads to the tree of life. Yeah. Genesis chapter 3, I think the verse 24. Now, can we read that? I want the scriptures to speak for themselves. Can we read this? 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 Can we read Ati asifuwa naya. Wami ya wamo. Ati asifuwa naya. Ati asifuwa naya. Ugu wamo ye moti ya u. Cherubim, cherubim, cherubim. Wami ya emwa. Ah, samu wano. Wami sansu yesu. Inti miyama wamo da asu nesu. Wami trina esi wamo. Wami ni pedi ya nesu. Eti wamo emini. Ebi eti se mi pe mini. Wanche mini, wanche mini, wanche mini, wanche mini. Et se and moi. Et tu yen ni pan. Yen yo e mi mua e ya bako. Nen so cherubim, anase motia, e wo e mi mu e nain. Nase wo shia motia, su yu su mi mi a mi 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 na meka. Nase wo pe su e mi mi mu e di e de chrel. Na o pe se, o tu mi mi mu di e nkoma. E san se wo yu mi mu se, a boa kasa. E wo yu mu ti bi e mi. Kope yu sabe kan Bible, abu yu se balam, abu wa chumi kasai. Na saan kasabu wano, na e adi ane woho e wo Genesis. If we say, e wame bayi, na oni e bano e babe kasai. Samra, e nyanku pombo wa Adam, na e mua, nima e wo yasi minaye chumi kasa, e di mkomo. Na asyasi e mi, Ena emwa kasa yen yen tumi enti yen ya fiasi 
yai yafi asie mu no ene ye ntumi ante emmo ano eka sai biem enti na nipa ye tetre mana e ba ye nimu ni otumi dane ene emmo a edi nkomo ena emmo aso so kasa ye te na enu su a emmo da ne di nko a ni abo ani de ni asemu a wo mitri otumi ni di emmo nkomo in the Bible, say, na a woman anything, a say, a one no ma, na a woman be true no ma, na ono ni anko pon, radi ni anko pon aye, na o katse anasu obisa oba ano se abu ano, kose ampara se na a woman aye anything, chenwe mu mu adoma radi ni anko pon ye one ni na na obisa oba ano se a woman to me obisa oba ano. Emma Barnetti, I see Emma Barnetti, I see Emma or say, I'm power, sir, on your uncle, I catch them, Mose. We need to remind me of the Anna. I want a new pair of It's it's it beats the mind that the truth of God's word is is there, is literally there. Yes, yet we we we've Yada, yada, slept. yada, and you know, <laughs> we encumber ourselves with all manner of myths and things, and we yes. throw the word of God away. And mm -hmm. God, a, a servant of the Lord, comes up and he's actually speaking the scripture. We are ready to stone the person. Me <laughs> 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 Mm. A foot to a tomacuma soon yammy, a sansu come a cuma say, Tianya walk an amity. But say Papa and Gubon Cassa, show me any away of ya, Matranietro. It is stony media, a bow and bow and found. So we see right from the beginning, and the book of Genesis is so profound because it presents the foundation of life here on earth and graciously opens up the composites. Um, units of God's universe for us to appreciate. Now we are seeing in Genesis chapter 1 verse 3, Genesis chapter 3, we are seeing cherubs that have been assigned to guard the way to the tree of life. Yes, sir. Now the thing is, if you should encounter a cherub in the realm of the spirit, the word of God makes us understand that cherubs are four feasts. Now we as men ordinarily are one feast, sure. but cherubs are four feasts. And they come with different um, dimensions of faces. Now, what happens is that when they en a cherub encounters you and seeks to have a certain interaction with you, because they come from a certain background, knowing that you as man, by the limitation and the weakness of the flesh, you are accustomed to seeing um, the face of a man communicating and talking. Ordinarily, that is the appearance they may want to speak to you and communicate to you with. But that does not mean that is the only face they have. If you come and you become more adept to the realm of the spirit and more inclined to the word of God, you would come to know that the cherub has four faces. It's at that point that the being may reveal other faces to you. Mm -hmm. Now, it beats the mind ordinarily that the face of an animal should be communicating in human language or in human term. Now, when we go to the foundation of man's life here on earth in Genesis chapter 3, we are seeing that the, the, the serpent was more subtle than any beast in the field that lets us know that the serpent is a beast it's an animal now here we have eve communicating with a beast Eve is so loquacious and so adept with communication such that eve is able to communicate with a beast eve is able to communicate with a serpent and the serpent is able to make meaning of what eve is saying Eve is also able to make meaning of what the serpent is saying and that alone lets us understand that prior to the fall man was so extensive and expansive in his communicative abilities such that he could communicate with animals in their natural estates the present form and the present um limitation we actually seen is not our original estate no 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 that's not us no. that's not us and what we call giftings, mm. <laughs> <laughs> and your money be be why your friend giftings are they are just restorative gifts. Mm. 
of the human psyche. And only a bebow. And go for the brain, send come. Our money and come, chef. And maybe I may see a bebow. Go for the brain, and send come. Our money and come, chef. Nani me kazi siya di asambe ba because ubi a gumi ubi a psychic ubi a your court and also he is satanic and also he is a pemre we are dealing with that matter the psychic prophet ubi a ya lo noa onye Christo ni nzungu ya sir kono he 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 confusion when he pebi a doing say ubi a wa ansa no ba be born again aha no wu ade ba no wu ade de da o ti nko o no fo ni nko da do mu nyina o o no so da ye aha o ade ba ade ba ti bi twa mu ehu bi 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 be sia ehu e mu nyina aha ansa no be ko be bi ye be twa mu nyina ba ni ni so wada ye en so na onya o be e kristo ni asat e se ya mere nko ko e so na sa ho no mu nyina ye kire kire mu nyina e di be si a lot of what man, God seven has mentioned moments ago that a lot of what um, some of what we are seeing today that we are calling um, prophetic or we are calling a supernatural means of coming into knowledge is actually a restorative work um, subsequent to the fall of man because prior to Adam's fall he was a super being yes. it is in his fall that he's we have come into this degraded state yes. and so there are people who have come into a place of a certain awakening of the gifts that was embedded in man from his original estate and these people are people who may not even be believers and yet because of the awakening of these gifts they become what is known in present times as psychics they are able to glean information all around the universe and all from the environment that's around us and the information is accurate is precise and it's true as is presented mm -hmm. and yet we they've been branded that they are occultic, they are satanic, they are demonic, and there are people that you even find in our communities who, right from childhood, they have a certain ability to know things without it being brought into their knowing by the five senses. And God's servant has promised us that in a soon time, he's going to delve into that subject matter of the restorative gifts that are showing up in the lives of people that today we are calling psychics. Especially when I begin to talk about the fivefold ministry. Okay. And maybe the will be requested. And I 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 will be we know who do the brain. Never we be minimum. You will not see a way minimum by cope. One face cherub. Okay. Any way not see a way minimum two face cherub. And at the same, as I'm saying, we will not see a way minimum nine. Okay. Four face cherub. Inti. Um. And only jina minimum kwa. Minimum kwa. Who your classification based on only the only faces. Okay. So understand that in in classifying cherubs there there's a multitude of classifications we can use but today god servant is centering only on um the facial expression or the facial construction and so on that basis there's firstly the one face cherub mm -hmm. and there is also the two face cherub mm -hmm. and there is the four face cherub mm -hmm. three categories that we are seeing on the premise of facial construction facial construction okay. good and see you know and you know bible say Abro nyangu pon pamu ni pa efri bebe tuno nyangu pon ebi bebe tuno eshe moti ya ensa bebe tuno na ewa sasi swa Adam ababetine Adam betine mu nyangu pon pamu Adam na odi cherub misiya dada eno odi share ensa eno odi share ensa so we make you sure say Adam en chumi en ma ehodium eja na chere say. Ansa na Adam beba sa si suma cherub no wa. Oh, amu di amu hakra da da da. Nasa bonsa mo e cherub. Oye anointed cherub. Pati asie. Oh no no oye cherub da da. Ena ni cherub di mumu no shi asie. Ne ye cherub di mzini mi na ne shi asie. Inti kron kron cherub. Eni nyangu poma ni be jina. E kanya e be ko da da enkwa e ye tree of life no emu. And I said that right in the opening of scriptures, we are seeing that when God dismissed man from the garden, God entrusted or kept the watch of the garden in the care of a cherub. Yes, sir. And this lets us know that number one, the cherubs were actually in existence before Adam. Mm -hmm. And we are seeing that Satan actually fell in a state as a cherub yes, because sir. it was an anointed cherub that covered. Yes, sir. And so that lets us know that there are demonic cherubs and there are godly cherubs. And the cherub that God assigned to watch over the garden subsequent to God's driving Adam out of that place was actually a godly cherub. Yes, sir. 
na ye urade adom a next week next week ze ba ne be kasafa salamander so a eno so be hu no se onyankopon de salamander eno de eh me fa ni sen motia e jina afa ne afa so o mo ye kwan no nti e be ba be hu salamander so so be djuma eno ye nyan ntire salamander ho asem nti we so when he drove out the man he placed to us me and and he placed at the east of eden at the east of the garden of eden cherubim so he placed cherubims there you know this one so we see cherubims and who are cherubims they are beings number one with the face of a man and also with the face of an ox with the face of a lion and with the face of an eagle, an eagle. so it means that in the nature of four faces the maximum is animalistic mm -hmm. three out of four is an animalistic face yes. and it is only one that is a human face yes. so if you can take it number two we know that the word self from latin means silver yes the word silver means forest yes. or garden or wood related mm -hmm. exactly. in all the universe of god when God drove man out of the garden, now the beings that are referred to as forested beings, garden beings, root beings, are instantly revealed yeah. and they are made to stop man from entering the garden. They are, God entrusts it, the garden to them. To them. Now the garden is taken from man. Mm -hmm. So let's start it this way. Yes. Man was also a forested being. Why? Precisely. Because when God, God made, made man, man, he put him in the garden, garden which he had made. Okay. So man's being started from a garden. Mm. It started from the midst of the woods. Yes. It started from the midst of a forest. Okay. The only difference between a garden and a forest is that a garden is a cultured place yes. of trees. Yes. Cultured. Mm. So man actually started as a forested being yes. but he was just a one phase man mm. who is only able to live on top of the earth surface yes. yeah. now as we carry on we begin to see who these cherubs are mm -hmm. so these cherubims are actually animated beings not only animated by way of movement but animated in the appearance mm -hmm. yeah. they have the faces of animals and from the Latin, it says, these beings are not called cherubims in Latin. They are referred to as forest beings. Is it right or is wrong? Genesis, the chapter 3, the verse 24. We see a forested being. Now, let's carry on. Young Koye Chika, Kranye Mise, I want to say, Enko Fobe Bire Wawa, Amamre, any addition to Kra Yawa? A little bit of a new say. I are a sunny and a banya yet titano, a shunami. Timmy Yepa, and do a shuffle. That's what we catch our say. And Habana at it in a remote home, I catch us and a cray. I didn't do a cray. Timmy Yepa. I brought a young people, the patrol, see a semi yepa. Upon him, he put a free the between him. He has a man named Kai. He now plays a cherub to guard the way to the tree of life. The sons of Brusidium. He plays a cherub to guard the way to the tree of life. Can Genesis three twenty four near here? Then contain the book of the Revelation of Jesus. We are Messiah who said, "And I'm a man. You're the son of the one." Now, Confort 
Because Presented an expansive discourse on uh, right from that covers literally the whole Spanish scope of scripture. We've seen that firstly, um, cherubs have a number of faces. So we are seeing the first, the one face cherub, the two face cherub, the four face cherub. And beyond that, we are also seeing that these cherubs are beings that got um, from the, we see that from the Latin rendering of their name self, it means they are forested beings or beings that dwell in the woods. Now we see a confirmation or we actually see a revelation of this in scripture. The word of God makes us understand in Genesis chapter 3. That in Genesis chapter 2, we see God create the earth. We see God create a garden and put man in charge of the garden. That lets us know that man is actually a being whose primary residence is in a garden, mm -hmm. whose primary residence is in a forest. Mm -hmm. And we're also seeing that among the cherub, there is the face of a man. We'll come mm -hmm. to touch on that matter. Now, when man falls, the word of God tells us that when man is being driven out of the garden, of all the beings in God's universe, God mm -hmm. didn't call a seraph. No. God didn't call any other being, mm -hmm. but a cherub Sa. to take custody of yes. that which was originally the state of man. Yes. And that should let you know that God would definitely bring one whose skill or whose place of expertise pertained to the forest, Sir. where man was previously occupying. Yes, and sir. so we see the cherub. Yes. Now, beyond that, the word of God tells us that, specifically, the cherubim was to guide or to guard the way to the tree of life. Sir. Now, the word of God makes us understand there in Genesis chapter 3 that actually the panacea to man's fall or man's going astray was mm -hmm. the tree of life. Sir. And this tree of life was being guarded by a cherub. Sir. That lets us know that in any time man's, man's fall precipitates um, a depreciation in man's quality of life by way of sickness. Mm -hmm. 
by man contacting trees and the leaves thereof, mm -hmm. man will be restored. Sa. Now, the word, word of God tells us in Revelation chapter 22, verse 2. Yes. In the midst of the streets of it, mm -hmm. and on either side of the river, mm. was there the tree of life. Mm which bear 12 manner of fruits mm. and yielded her fruits every month. Mm -hmm. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. Uh -huh. <laughs> Now what they say, I'm an amman no yagi. Having cried, you swore high. What they say, what they would you are high? Heavy, heavy. So for you, so I hind you. Oh, maybe I mean, yes, I'm your money, my dad. Ah, by no, yeah, you be near the bee carina, let the bee come. Because a sure, a so for me, a child, I buy the awning. I mean, tell me, didn't tell me. So for beer, a tree, I buy beer, and to me, rock with you for me. Because you the dear Abaqua cuts now quite a camp of the sins. No mum profus no mum party into me. We are seeing the truth of scripture that the leaves are for the healing of the nations. And so it is on this wise that any person who operates in the healing ministry necessarily must operate with cherubs. Because foundationally, cherubs are the ones that have been placed in charge or in custody of the tree of life. So, number one. Any person who is operating in the healing ministry yes, sir. is fundamentally operating with cherubs, who are dwarfs. And it is the flip side in the kingdom of darkness that, interestingly, a lot of us have become so accustomed, <laughs> breast to, accustomed to an abreast with. Because for most herbalists, the primary source of knowledge that they have come into mm -hmm. concerning trees and concerning herbs and concerning leaves is from cherubs. Who have indoctrinated them and have given them this knowledge. Now you should understand that in the whole scope of God's operation, He operates with cherubs. The Word of God tells us, we read it in, in, in Psalm 18, that God actually writes, writes upon a cherub yes, to sir. do His movement. Yes, so sir. whenever you are seeing God in move, motion or God in movement, we are seeing cherubs away. Ori ene juma Yesu Christo Ori ene juma So when I'm moving right, the song says <laughs> he is moving by the wind <laughs> and he's doing and he's doing his own work The Lord Jesus is doing his work Yen so ni na moti apa So the question we ask us which wind and for, 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 for the and for the answer is, is, they are tuned to the word moti and frama. Uh -huh. and for generally for account speakers, and even for most people, yeah. you know that when dwarves are operating, they're operating by the wind. By the wind. Exactly. And so that we are seeing the confirmation in scripture that whenever we are seeing the motion of wind, we are seeing the work of dwarves. We are seeing the works of cherubs. Sir. And so understand that in our churches, we are cherubs at work. Sir. It's just that you should understand that. Take that brainwashing out of your mind. Mm -hmm. That when you hear cherub, you are hearing devil. Sir. Cherubs are godly. Dwarfs are godly. Dwarfs there are godly dwarfs and satanic dwarfs. Mamin for we impress. Prophet Ibiya the Moti and Eggman. He Ibiya the Moti. The ministry of the prophet, the ministry of healing, is hinged. On the work of cherubs. And in the Ekasa, and you'll be kind. Okay, in the book of Job, at the end was say, God answered Job through the Huawei. Yeah. Number two, Bible say, say, Motiano, and I said, Cherub, no, it be out of some kind of cherub, 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 cherub. Cherub, no, see, say, one of the people who are in the world, say, one of the people who are in the world, 
and I'm tied down. And I'm in my room. Mm. Or see, and when they lifted up their wings, yes. it was like a multitude of voices, mm. like the voice of Almighty God. So we are seeing in Job chapter 38, verse 1, and I mean, God answered Job out of the whirlwind. And to me, any Job will cast her. How did he answer him? By the whirlwind. And he brought it to be now, not so or to me, me. And from my day, and they be saying, I mean, me, 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 It's the cherubs. By the cherubs. Okay. Yeah, you can whirlwind her. And you'll be in the same way. And you'll be in the same way. Job chapter 40, verse 6, and the Lord answered Job out of the whirlwind. So we are seeing that when God is communicating, uh -huh. it is by means he answers you out, out of the world. Wind. And so for every prophet that you are seeing who is in motion, who is hearing uh, from a certain heavenly realm and bringing you truth, the prophet is operating by the operations of cherubs, yes. the operations of dwarfs. Yes. That is how they operate. Man of God, it, it, it presents that just as it is in the kingdom Sir, of heaven, uh -huh. it is the same that, the king king king. that the devil has called. Well, we are so abreast with the depth the of it. <laughs> that was that was <laughs> yeah, that was it. That was it. That now was look it. at Ezekiel chapter ten, the verse number five, mm -hmm. and that settles it. Mm -hmm. Can you read for me? And the sound and of the cherubim, the sound of the cherubim's wings, what? their wings was heard. Even... Let's let's finish the English. Hey. Stand. <laughs> the cherubim's <laughs> wings was heard even to the outer court uh -huh. as the voice of the Almighty God when he speaking. Now, one a it is the same thing. It's a the spiritual principle. Is, that's the thing. Yeah. Mm. And your principle. So just as gravity exists, uh -huh. occult, evil, occult, everybody is enjoying the same. Everybody what you do with gravity is what matters. matters. Yeah. Sanity. So it's in like manner. Understand that God has set principles in his universe, how the universe runs. Uh -huh. It runs that communication uh -huh. comes by whirlwinds. That's it. The operators of the whirlwinds are the cherubs. The 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 cherubs. cherubs. And so whether it is in the kingdom of God or uh -huh. the kingdom of darkness, that is it. It is that's the principle of it's just as simple as that. Okay. Ezekiel 10 verse 5. And the sound of the cherubim's wing was what? Was mm. heard even to the outer court as, as the voice of the Almighty God when he speaketh. It was as the voice of Almighty God when he speaketh. Can you me and Now what say cherubim no enter by mujije you could see a hofam. Aban one or so, mm -hmm. Aban one or so. Se unyangu punto kwa au kasa nani? Sa? So the communication systems yes. and also the transportation systems is cherubic. It's cherubic. It's multi and drama. Multi numa. Enti. Ube wimu se enkonye yeye. Enti yawa. Lying signs and wonders. Mm. Yeah. And then in church say yes, signs and wonders. Mm. And you know two signs and wonders. It is the same beings now. And a mule juma bring some dear and in your media. And see a brand in some in your son motion. I will be doing the two. And of our mother, not pamphua, or do one mule juma, ama, not snafua, one mule, we are so mule nipa. Sana nyame so so de ene so so etie se nya nyame e ye ni nyima no e na bon sam all copy so understand that there is the counterfeit yes sir the existence of the counterfeit lets you know there is original god is the original that's it and in the original operations of god it is such that cherubs handle the matter of healing mm -hmm. cherubs are in charge of the matter of prophecies and divine communication mm -hmm. it is the same that the enemy has replicated in the kingdom of darkness that's right it is you see, there is wisdom. Yes. And there is wisdom that has been corrupted. Yes. So corrupted it wisdom. is in the corruption of Satan's wisdom in the in the, in the place of darkness. Mm -hmm. That is what we also see with the operations of um, uh, fetish priests and all those who operate in the kingdom of darkness by means of dwarfs and cherubs. 
it is just a copy of what exists in the kingdom of God. Because it's a spiritual principle. Mm. 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 So I understand that the word of God tells us that there is that which is known as lying signs and wonders. Yes, sir. That it, it's a wonder. Yes, sir. It is a sign. Yes, sir. Don't come and dispute it. Yes, the sir. word of God says that it is with power uh -huh. and signs and lying uh, wonders. Yes. So power is at work. Yes, sir. Signs are at work. Yes, sir. Wonders are at work. Yes, sir. But it is to the it's end of the It's not It's to the end to deceive people, people from God. God. That's it. And you think I say, oh, this will be done or cassa. And you do not buy any here. No more must it see so catch us a young person in Yammy Fufu Bia in three minutes. A young person in the validators will be from Yammy and Old Yammy. No more church, any new and the old crack pussy. A don't train young crop power, and I say a beautiful young crop power, a cobble, some aquem. No, it's a way on three yammy. So if you yammy and cobet training yammy, Nasa. If you bon someone, and obey your bon some aqua, sanity, and you have a cool tibium. You will say, Motia, oh, the blue eyes, oh, cheer more bon some beers and the ababa German yamidia. And you mean, and you mean, and you mean, okay, 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 okay. And you see that you say, ah, now to the wax on was it. Then come a couple months, and you mean yamidia and answer. They know the depth of it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, Yes, and you will be say, you see a obia or be not here, you do not echo chirp, my panel, um, a hammer at it, a hammer, um, titty. If you say, you are wash your same, you are not so, a motia, sir. Or Moses not all guiding the way to the tree of life. And Mrs. Sintina said, Ube will be the secrets of life. This is a motia, actually. Because only my other custodian to the way of life, to the way of the tree of life. Only me, my coin, I bet you, sir, how my way. Utu, we are a yese. Utu, we are a yese. Me, my coin, my own coat, no more natural. So, I also understand. I was born in the end of the year, did you need ya? Or say, I feel your bema coin, I'm right to the tree of life. So, get this truth that the cherubs, the dwarves, have been entrusted to the way. The way that leads to the tree of life, and so they are also they are just as they are custodians of healing or custodians of um, knowledge concerning herbs that bring about life, that breaks the hand of sickness, and that defeats the operations of sickness and death. It is in like manner that they are also custodians of this knowledge, and so they can bequeath this knowledge to man. However, man in his fallen state would be made to know that this. Is the way to the tree of life, but you cannot come here to partake of mm -hmm. it. However, for the believer, the word of God tells us that, and to him that overcomes, you will be made to have right to the tree of life. So the advantage that we have is that we are operating in light, and we are operating by cherubs of light, who by means of our placing and our overcoming, grant us a right to the tree of life, mm -hmm. and access to the tree of life. And that is the advantage we have in Christ. Now, Let's look at another way. You know, last week I said that we're dealing with the appearance. Yes. This week we're dealing with our work. Yes. So the first work of cherubims or of godly dwarfs is in healings. Yes. Number two, we've also seen that it is in the prophetic. Yes. <laughs> because in their wings, you hear the voice of Almighty God. God communicates. God answered. Yes. Job as we saw it, he said, by the whirlwind. And the Lord answered Job out of the whirlwind. And he said, 
Obi make us say, "Ani tin enya me bi moti am fa man in one." Because enya me oti moti a enter by inso. He is riding on the wings of the wind, and he is riding upon a chariot. It is all person oti enya me niya. Moti am fa man na air bona. Ebi enya me enna mano. Ah wo ye juma. Ah wo ye juma. Obi tu inse. And Framano Eddie and Sam Eddie, Eddie Brown, Super Socasm Chinia. Now, Odus Man Frama, and yet it's a semble, a semi expressive. So, understand that we, we today, last week, God's servant took us into the matter of the appearance of, uh, of, of dwarfs and the appearance um, of these beings. And today, we, we, we are zooming, we have already started looking at their works. We are seeing, firstly, their works pertaining to healing. Yes, we have also looked at their works pertaining to the prophetic and prophetic. communications of God. Sir. Because God writes upon a cherub. And at the flapping of the wings of the cherub, the word of God makes us understand that we hear the voice of the Lord coming out of it. And so if a person wants to come into the place of the prophetic, receive communications by the voice of God, it is actually in the midst of the operations of cherubs. We are talking about sir. Motia, a dear nomia. Romo and nomia beings of protection. Romo and you protect it. Oh, is there? It is a little pot, baby, a quack or pet, and a Bible. A dear pan or me or quiet, any man. I mean, no one at the people protect him. Protect him. I mean, put the heroine. I mean, put the heroine. I mean, put the heroine. I Kasa ni wao nimoa, enua enye hela kasa, enua enye Hebrew for kasa, enua nzuzwa enye Arabic for kasa, na enye kasa biya enye adi yewe, na yeye bi nimo se kasa no ayira ne enye lai, adinzi na me kasa, yewe kasa biya wuya linguistics a. It is referred to as Afro-Asiatic languages. That is to say, languages that relate the Asian and African cultures and ideologies together. Yes. Okay. What languages, what particular language does that? Number two. Afro-Asiatic language. Number two. Kasebi wa honu mwa. Efa hela. Na afa Hebrew, na afa Arabic. Saka sa mwezi ya miki ni na ewo saka sa eni. Na se ini mbabu wa bako se mka kreo biya, ube hini kasa kro. Kasa no eye Babylon fwo e kasa. Na Babylon fwo kasa no, ni dundi de Akkadian language. It was the language of Akkadi. Tiye, nasa language of Akadi, anasa Chad. So we say, if you don't say Nebu Kadneza, no, aye Chad. That area na di kula midu iswa no masem eneeka. Tiye pa, eminti. Akadian language, no, aye Kasebia, Hebrew. Hela kasa nsusu ebium, ebium Arabic ebium. Africa kasa yekan Africa ebium, kasa yekan Asia eno nsusu ebium. And it is because they were once a world superpower. Yes. Na abra omi nyangu pon any Israel for a free Israel kumi mu. Abu wamu kubu ebu bu Babylon eche wamasu. And to say what's here, he will cast an eye on us. See, Anna, we are not actually in the mind of the brain. I am Babylon for casa, and the Ababa will allow me casa. If you go watch the twelve calendar months now, you don't know what to say. Sir, 
calendar months no we will hebrew babylon for calendar month e dey na home our one of your months you mean bra here be call sa 12 calendar months ni na me su ni na from akkadian roots se wa she the 12 months na we will say one of the months now it will be Tammuz. Yes. Tammuz no, and you Hebrew. Tammuz, and you there Babylon. Yes. And you want to cut in us out, you know. Cause I know any one of them be a fra be be be. And to say, Obi a wa ten kray. Sir. A wa kechi. Who knows and kray no mu sa. To France. So, Because and cast and to cast a me and I to cast a me can make cow the will say and cry me to no effort. A bit is a saffo. O can a saffo a saffo a citre a one room a saffo a saffo a citre a one cream a saffo a saffo a citre a one cream a saffo a saffo a citre a one fantasy a saffo. Into one word, you know, a barber and cry to a cassa, a barber a tree for a cassa, a barber and one for a cassa. Because I need to set my bob. Because I need to set my bob. Because I need to set my bob. And then you are just a tree. And to me, you are just a one more time. My bob is a one more time. And you are a santi and I say, and you are a fra fra. And you are a fra fra. Because I need to set a fra fra. And you are a fra fra. You are a fra fra. And you are a fra fra. And you are a fra fra. And to me, you two are not saying crying. A yafra frano, and I'm a Cassano. We are doing the other Canadian, we are doing the other Canadian. I didn't see a Cassa. Say a cat motia. He do Cassan. Our Cassabia, a drawer, one more epatra say. Shed do. Now, on the court, Greek one, one must say, devils. Now, Bruno. As it change was a devil, but she be no edge na homa, shaggy being or a hairy being. So we be here here in Eko. It is a she be no. As it change, 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 change. We be no. It's the Akkadian language. Who needs to protect? So we are doing a bit of um, linguistic, linguistic study yes. um, for the root meaning of words, words. the now, etymology of words. Syrian Empire. And the language that existed in that place was the Akkadian language. And if you have done a bit of history, you are acquainted and you are familiar with this. And understand that because people groups live together, interact, intermingle, with time, there becomes the corruption of languages as a result of borrowing words. Sir. And so, when you come to the English language, there are a lot of words that are actually not English at all. Yes. They are either Spanish, they are yes. French, they are Portuguese. But exactly. they are French. You are speaking it and you think that it's English. English. But they are actually not English words at all. Yeah. Because even they are rooted present, in other languages. They are rooted from other languages. And so it is on this wise that when we go into the scripture, you may jump 
and read something, oh, this is Hebrew. Mm -hmm. But you find out that the original rendering or the etymology of that the Hebrew origin. word, the origin of it is actually from another language. Yes, sir. And in this instance, we are seeing the Akkadian language being the source of this particular word that we are seeing. Yes. Now, the word that we are seeing in scripture is Shedim. Yes, sir. Now, this word is that which um, Bible translators are translating into devils. Devils. Mm -hmm. the, if you go into the original rendering from the Akkadian language from which this Hebrew word is sourced, mm -hmm. it does not denote devils. No. What it actually denotes is a protective being. Yes, sir. Yeah. Now, let's deal with the subject matter. Why did they call them devils? I will shift a bit into what I wanted to do last week. I'm not touching on it yet. Mm -hmm. Devils, please get this. Devils. When you say somebody is a devil, yes. please, are you ready for this? Yes, Lord. Are you sure? Yes. Yes, very well. Don't let your faith be overthrown. Mm. Mm. When you say something is a devil, it means that thing is a new God. That is the definition of a devil. A new God. A new God. Say what? I think I'm understanding it. <laughs> from I'm from a historical this. perspective. Yes, sir. Because in, in certain in certain I mean ancient people groups, mm -hmm. the introduction of a new God mm -hmm. meant the overthrow of the existing God. Good. And to that existing God that now became that a devil. God was a devil. Okay. So you have to understand. Who are devils? So, uh, gods, <laughs> old and new. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got you get it. <laughs> but the way that he said it, it was really hard to take. How was it hard to take? Okay, Psalm 106, verse 37. Let's go and read it. Psalm 106, verse 37. Yea, uh -huh. they sacrifice their sons and their daughters unto devils. Okay, you heard that? Yes. Are you sure? Yes, I did. Are you sure you read this? I read yes. that. They did what? They sacrificed their sons and their daughters unto devils. Who did they sacrifice their sons and their daughters to? Devils. Unto devils. Let's go to Deuteronomy and let's go and see who are devils. Okay. <laughs> Deuteronomy 32, verse 17. Come on, go. They offered sacrifices to demons. Which are not God. But what? Gods that had not known that gods <laughs> they had not known before. Bad words. To new gods. To new gods. Only what? Recently arrived. To gods. Their ancestors had never feared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who is a devil? Mm. A new god. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's it. be a devil. Hey. Sometimes when I listen, I'm, I must say, so when I listen to certain men of God. I'm like, I'm so sure you're all kind of bad. Because I'm a devil, I'm a born son. I'm a born son, I'm a man, I'm a born son, I'm a son. I'm a born son, I'm a born son, because he became a new God. I will be like God. A God that recently arrived. And you see, I'm going to say, I'm not sure, 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 I'm because idols and gods are not the same. There is a big difference between idols and there's a big difference between gods. They are not the same. The operation, the technicality of the operations are totally different. And if you don't get it, you make a mess of the lives of people. A minimum crumble means a Satan, any devil, any other crop. <laughs> Some people cannot know that or do not understand that Satan, Satan is not the same the as devil. devil. But then we are dealing with a particular person. But when he is operating in a certain way, he is Satan. And when he is operating in another way, he is a devil. Because Jesus told Peter, Peter uh -huh. get thee behind me, Satan. Satan. So how did Peter, Peter become Jesus' at that Satan? Point, the role he was playing uh -huh, was satanic to Jesus. Yeah. So it's clear from the scriptures that there is, when, when a, a, a definition, an operational definition of a devil is a new God. Yes. Sir. One who, who, who has arisen to overthrow the existence of the God that is known. Yes. Sir. And so we see in of an old, old God. God. Good. So we see, for instance, in the fall of 
um, Lucifer to become the devil as he is known presently. It was that um, he said in my heart that I will, say, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I also sit um, upon the mountain of congregation on the sides of the north. It was to the end that it was to overthrow or to rival God. Then he became the God, God of this world. world. Good. He was a new God. God. Now, can we read? I, I, I do want us to be quick. Eh? There, there's so much to share. If it was just talking from my heart, mm -hmm. I'd have been just going, going. Mm -hmm. But the topic is sensitive. Mm -hmm. It is revolutionary. Yes. It is riveting. Yes. Mm -hmm. People must gain foundation in the word of God yes. to be convinced yes. that what we are saying as Bereans, mm -hmm. when they check us out, it is so. Perfect. Or it is not so. Mm -hmm. Deuteronomy 32, the verse 17. Can we read from the Amplified, from the contemporary English Bible, from the message and from the new a living translation. Let's go. From the Amplified. Uh -huh. They sacrifice to demons. They sacrifice to demons. Not to God. Not to God. To gods whom they knew not. They didn't know these gods. To new gods lately come up. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> these are new gods that lately came up. Whom your fathers what? Never knew or feared. They never knew or feared. Now watch this. So, see something. When God in his wisdom was protecting all that belongs to him by these cherubs. Remember that I told you that the word shedu or shedu means protector. Mm. From the Akkadian language, mm -hmm. yes. Now, so why did the Hebrews refer to the shedu as devils? Because to the Babylonians, mm -hmm. they saw protection mm -hmm. By these cherubs, and see me. Tito Hano, so we be. I wanna be pebia. Ope so we be siya. Moho banya. Obo ho banya. Obi se mo ti ansa. Na me be treche ako ako treche sika. I am the kura. The banking system in the realm of the spirit. Me be treche ni na me ya unu ni enti aku koda swa. Mo ti ansa aman e babi ye ye usika. Sika uye ni gasu uye wano yuna Eye moti ya bwane Bensa moti ya Eye suma di ti yao But ansani ya beba saadi ya nusun The protectors Were the cherubs Na nyamina ye wa omo sa Ena bensa msu si mi mse cherubs Muna mutu ni shadi ya su Eno osuma wa omo be Uya si ino se Wano mfa ahombay mbo Emre Me chita afwa it is a little tough one. I been some little tough one. Not here we are buying, but not here we are going to buy. We are buying. And you want me to say, but some and I buy some stuff. We must say, we must be buying into. We must have some We must have some stuff. 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 We must because a devil is a new god. So you need to get the understanding. Um, today, primarily, the, the, the core of the block of teaching that God's servant came to do tonight is to expose on the works of cherubs. Mm -hmm. We've already seen the works of cherubs pertaining mm -hmm. to healing. Mm -hmm. We have already also seen the works of cherub pertaining to the prophetic. So, now the third... Um, Thing we are looking at are the works of cherubs pertaining to protection. Sir. Now, it is on this wise that we went to, uh, we've already done exhaustively talking about, um, firstly, understanding that God had something precious at the beginning in Genesis chapter 3, mm -hmm. which was the tree of life. Mm -hmm. He committed the protection of it to a cherub. Sir. So we are seeing fundamentally that divine operation yes. is that cherubs are the ones that protect. Yes, now, the question now comes up that how did people groups come into the know that okay dwarfs or or cherubs are to take custody or protect, protect things for which reason now these dwarfs or these cherubs who protect things became the god for which people go to go to for protection mm -hmm. so someone says i'm going to consult this deity i'm going mm -hmm. to consult this being mm -hmm. for protection Understand that fundamentally, God has said that in his universe. Mm -hmm. Now, get this inside. The word of God makes us understand that the word Hebrew, or the word in Hebrew for, 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 for these, um, for devils, as it were, 
is she Shedim. Shedim. Yes. And the Shedim was actually sourced from Acadian, Acadian language. language. Which means which shed. Means shed, which protection. is protection. Good. So understand that this it this still lines up with what we are seeing in Genesis. Yes. That sir. they are for protection. Yes. Sir. Now what happened is this. Whenever new gods came up, mm -hmm. whenever there was the emanation of a new deity, mm -hmm. the people group that existed saw that new deity to be a devil or to be a demon. Sa because that principle was to come to rival the existence of the god that they had known mm -hmm. and they had feared. Mm -hmm. Now, this is what happened. When people came into the know of the protection that these cherubs were offering to men, mm -hmm. instead of them limiting the understanding or relationship to the matter of projection, they started to worship them. Yes, sir. So, to the Jew or to the Hebrew, these are demons. These are demons. Yes, sir. Because, because they, they are new gods yes, sir. that had come up you got it. to offer protection Shut. to men. Definition solved. So, they started to worship them. Yes, sir. As gods. Yes, sir. And so, to the Jews, these are new gods. These are new gods. So they are devils. devils. <laughs> so originally, uh -huh. the fundamental understanding of, of the devil is not Satan. Satan. It means a new god. Other than the old god that we are blessed with. So understand that just as, like we have been saying from the beginning, get what exists in God's kingdom and in the sphere of light. Understand the word understand of God. Understand the word of God. And it, if you understand the word of God, you just know that everything that's happening in the world is a duplication, yes, it's sir. a corruption. Yes, sir. We are seeing that God fundamentally set the work of protection to be with cherubs. Yes, sir. And we have seen it in Genesis chapter 3. Then also we are seeing that it is on that wise that the world goes also in that way of seeking protection from cherubs who they go into error of worshipping. Mm -hmm. And that is what makes them devils because they are new gods. Let's cut it short. Yes, man. In the book of Exodus, mm. in the book of Chronicles, mm. in the book of Ezekiel, the Bible says that mm. when God instructed Moses yes. to build a tabernacle, mm -hmm. the veil had a cherub mm. right imprinted in there. Number two, when God instructed Moses to build a tabernacle, the walls of the tabernacle was made up of what? Number one, palm trees. Mm -hmm. Number two, olive trees. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says that God had what? Cherubs engraved on the walls. Except Ezekiel 41 verse 20. From the ground unto above the door were cherubims and palm trees, palm trees made, made. And on the wall of the temple. And on the wall of the temple. The posts of the temple were squared. In the face of the sanctuary, the appearance of one as a, the appearance of the other. Sape pepe. The altar of wood was three cubits high, and the length thereof two cubits, and the corners thereof, and the length thereof, and the walls thereof were of wood. And he said unto me, This is the table that is before the Lord. So now, In Exodus yes, chapter 26, verse uh -huh. 31. Verse 31. And thou mm -hmm. shalt make a verse veil. 1 and 31. Good. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. sir. And thou shalt make a veil of blue uh -huh. and purple uh -huh. and scarlet uh -huh. and fine twine linen of cunning work. Uh -huh. With the cherubims shall it be made. So right the veil mm -hmm. that by which you enter, mm -hmm. the being that was protecting that inner sanctuary, mm -hmm. We see that we see a child right in the veil. So you've gone par from the outer court, you come into the holy place. Yes. Sir. Now, for you to access the holy of holies, there was the veil, mm -hmm. and the veil that guarded that was at the entrance of the holy of holies as a protection had the cherubims engraved into it. Pepe. Pe, pe. Okay. In Second okay. Chronicles three fourteen, mm -hmm. he made the veil of blue and purple and mm -hmm. crimson and mm -hmm. fine linen and round cherubims thereupon. As a mercy. So in the most sacred place, yes, those in the beings that protected. Mm -hmm. You see, do you see palm trees? Mm -hmm. Yes. Garden. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you see olive tree right in there? Yes. Do you see wood right in there? Yeah. And in the midst of all of these, there were cherubims on the walls, cherubims on the veil, and even cherubims on the mercy seat. Mm -hmm. Yes. We will deal with that one. Mm -hmm. Why cherubims were on the mercy seat? Because we are dealing with the function of cherubs. What cherubs do? Now, let's go back. And let's pick a little key. Then I would explain why the accounts refer to cherubs as motia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are we ready for yes, this? Father. Yes. Sarah, please help me with the key word. Help me. How would you say it? Help me. Blame. Blame. I need help. I need quick help. 
Me ya mo am sesi a. Dabi. Mbetie ya. Mbetie ya mo. Bua me tentem. Right? Mm. Yes. Okay. I need shortcuts help. I need help. Sharp, sharp. 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 Sharp, When we talk about a mm -hmm. it means short animals. Mm -hmm. But in the Akan language, it means two references. It's a double reference. It's a double mm -hmm. reference. Short animals that help you quickly. Mm -hmm. Is it in the Bible? Emphatically, yes. Can we read Deuteronomy 32 verse 17? Contemporary English Bible. Message Bible, a new living translation. The person who told the Nauti as a new year, you offered sacrifices to demons, those what useless gods that never helped you. First way, who yes, was all kind of said they never helped you. A boy, I'm a person, I'm a copy. Now, I'm a woman, as I'm a woman. And where does your help come from? My help the comes Lord. from the Lord. Yes. You are not going to on the Yes, you are not going to be No, spiritually, no. He assigns cherubs. Mm. The Bible says that these cherubims, they encamp around you. Mm. Now, watch this. In the tabernacle of Moses, who do you see encamping in the tabernacle? Mm. Cherubs. Has he not given his angels charge over you? Mm. Yes. Are not the cherubs part of the angelic company? Precisely. Yeah. Please get this. The moment anybody is going to receive help from God, mm. Mm. Oya <laughs> 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 Glory, say, cherubims, no, they are of glory. Okay. 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 In, the, in the book of Hebrews, mm -hmm. the chapter number nine, cherubims of glory. As I said, I was saying, what is the meaning of glory? <laughs> what is the meaning of glory? Number one, glory means weight. It's one of God. And what is the meaning of weight? Gold weight. Gold weight. <laughs> it is only gold that is weighty. <laughs> gold weight. There is there is not there is no wood weight. There is not sand weight. <laughs> it is gold weight. <laughs> so the Bible refers to how that Abraham was what? Rich. And the word rich mm. means glory, cardboard. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Interestingly, in Hebrew, there are two words for glory. Asher or Asha, who means to be fortunate, mm -hmm. to be fortunate. But you are saying Abraham Kai, Abraham say, "Oh, you be 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 ara empty or you know what? You know what? I be cast or no me bua me tiawa." Na emu, onu nyangu po ena ne mua efri ni sembaba. So Abraham was what? He was rich. The word is kabod. Yes. Abraham was not a share. Mm -hmm. He was not looking for an opportunity to be fortunate. He was looking for an opportunity to be heavy. What is the difference between Asha and kabod? Asha means accumulation without protection. Kabod means accumulation. 
of weight with protection. And he born some among Sika. And to me, Moses can all buy. A bet called Entinawada. Nyankro Paul Emma Musica. A bet now da. Me pe bien one me bet me cassi. And now bobby bien one me bet me a cassi or none and boa war. And to me, and Abraham say, Me pe and moi. A me pe be the cassi. And I'm the so I'm rich. And I'm me me a me moi. Now me pe and moi. And mammy, you a good and moi, a bet none of da, and no, and your friend a new yam. It is all companion, one more companion, one more being some moti awa, the new yam and bet now da, you know, your mountain, your mini, boys are more more poor, no, a copper may be a few moti a beer. Namu motia, a bomb pious era, they say era de, you know, in some isha. I say, I mean, she ran every day, the floor, now bread, you might be one year, but they be on higher home. Now, on some of you, you should know. A bread, and the woman, and the difference are not the only human. Their work, number one, is about glory, it's about gold. Now, when I mention the people, you will say, gold, I was asking, your Bible, she and Cecilia. Because Botia and a tree nipper metals, a tree nipper gold mineralization, San Indiano, because they are the custodians of the secrets of the yeah. earth. Mm. Yeah. <sighs> Tonight, God servant us, we've already gone past um, understanding the place of the cherubs in providing yes, healing. Sir. Yes, sir. we have seen their impact in the prophetic. We have also come to see the place of the cherubs with respect to protection. And God's servant has capped us off with the place of the cherubs with, in providing help, in providing quick help. And we are seeing it in scripture that there is a matter of glory. In the matter of glory, in the matter of glory, we are looking at wheat. Now, the word for glory in Hebrew, we have, there are two words. We are seeing the Skabud and the Sasha. Now, understand that when we are looking at Asha, we are just looking at accumulation of wealth. Without protection. Without protection. Yes, sir. But when we are looking at Kabul, we are looking at a certain weight of glory, accumulation of wealth that comes with protection. And so that is... Ever abiding, er, er, enduring wealth. Enduring wealth. You know, it is not here today, gone tomorrow. Yes, sir. And that is what the Lord offers unto us. Understand that we do not go to cherubs for protection. No. All of our help comes from the Lord. And how does God how do it? How does God do it? Yes, sir. He does it by assigning cherubs yeah. to protect us. Because the angel of the Lord encamps around them that fear him. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you see, so we'll be so until a moetia asia. Because nyami esani wa musu wa mea mebe e mebo aye. So understand that when we speak of cherubs, we are emphasizing this again, that it is, they are, they are, they are angels that encamp around them that fear the Lord. Yes, sir. And they are there to deliver him yes. from all that he fears. Yes, sir. And so for the believer, know that you indeed have cherubs around you. You indeed, don't be intimidated as a believer if somebody tells you, do you know the dwarfs I work with? Ah. <laughs> but then, do you know how many drugs are also working with? Me, I'm not even just working with drugs. We are about to talk about plenty other things that are working with us. So <laughs> they, they they encamp around us, and Bible says they deliver him yes. from all that. Their afflictions. They are all their afflictions, and so understand that there is the place of divine protection from the Lord that is established by means of dwarfs that God has centered around us, and it is not like the word the world. Oppressed with. It's not like the world does. So you see, people go to seek help from gods that is not God who are devils. And these devils are what sheriffs meant to do their work as assigned to them by Satan as originally in the creation of God. Nyame, ena ba ku ye juma ma bonsa. As a banker, sir, ba ku ye juma ozeni bank na ba ku ye juma GCB no. Ejuma ba. Ejuma krona no omoye. 
na they are answering to two different masters. Sana adieno etie. So settle it and understand um, the truth of God that we brought to you tonight. We've made you, we've made everyone understand. We've seen extensively from the pages of Scripture that number one, the matter of your healing, God cherubs secures it by cherubs. Yes, sir. The secondly, on the matter of prophetic, hearing from God, seeing cherubs. what God is doing, what God wants to accomplish, is by means of cherubs. Yes, sir. Next, we have seen that on the matter of protection divine protection and security, God establishes it by the matter, by, by, the, by the means of cherubs. Finally, we have seen that help, that must come speedily to you. Help, that must come timelessly to you. Help, that must come quickly to you, is the matter of cherubs. And God's servant has mentioned, if there is any man of God that is doing any great work, any great work of deliverance, any great work of healing, any great work of divine help, it is on the premise of cherubs or dwarfs. If you are seeing great healings happening, yes, sir. great testimonies coming, yes, sir. it is because cherubs are at work. Yes, sir. Dwarfs are at work. Godly dwarfs. Godly dwarfs. <laughs> Godly cherubs <laughs> yes, sir. are at work. Yes, sir. Man of God, it's, it's, it's been phenomenal that I'm thinking mm. if our parents had shown us or if our pastors mm. from mm -hmm. childhood mm -hmm. has shown us these things from the scriptures, mm. you know, you are growing up and you hear dwarfs and it strikes you with fear. Mm. You go to school and you hear, this guy, there are dwarfs around him. And you, you lose cognizance that God has already established these around you. know the interesting thing? The Bible says in Jeremiah 32, 17, he said, whom your ancestors did not fear, but to those Christians, they fear. <laughs> They offer sacrifices to demons, <laughs> which are not God. Which are not God. To God. To God. They had not known before. Or, to new God. Uh -huh. Only recently arrived. Uh -huh. To God, the ancestors had never feared. But today, hmm. the lack of proper teaching. Lack of knowledge. The lack of knowledge. My people perish. It is not because of the devil. No. So how come that you lost money? What were your dwarves doing? That satanic dwarves came around you. Hmm. Hmm. To steal the money. Hmm. Terrible. Angels of God, how could you be around me and money have been stolen? Ebane say. Hey, you're a bad man. That's a man. You're the best here. You're a sweet motive. I want him. You're a bad elf. You're a you. Then you're my young baby. Be a bad man. A bad man. You're a good baby. I'm just dealing with. I've dealt with water. The sirens. I've dealt with earth beings. I'm now going very deep into the realms of fire and air. Now, as you are talking, beings, no, Mrs. Romano, the salamanders. Me, I see 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 me, I I see me, I I think that if a prophet, you shouldn't miss this one. What makes one prophetic ministry totally different? And what made Moses different? from Aaron and Miriam. Mm -hmm. It is a realm that Moses walked through. Mm -hmm. And I believe that you want to know that realm by next week. Mm -hmm. I'm going into a realm that is very, very revealing. To reveal to you beings that God has created. To assist you. To walk you through. To show you and to speak to you. To reveal more about Jesus. Mm -hmm. To reveal more about the Holy mm -hmm. Spirit. Mm -hmm. To reveal more about the Father. Mm -hmm. yeah, and you bet me can soon soon massem ye can in your room ye can in your work on you ye can in your deep press him i am nina so extra tree who are giving us a new way in shira the free neko which is a good idea over straight we will be so on so on say now we meet you and you know hey yet hey you won't come in shira i've been in tea amen 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 we have Wonderful comment, comments from um, our viewers. Um, oh, Prof. George Odamte says, this is a real school classroom. Hmm. I am being educated from prejudice to biblical reality. Hallelujah. Papa, thank you for this rare opportunity. God bless Your you, Prof. Your panelists are fantastic communicators. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank Prof. Adamjin, I miss you so much. Yeah. I'll try to give you a call before close of week. Mm. God bless you. Yeah. My love to Mama Dampton. Yami mm. Unsham. Mm. 
Amen. 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 All right. Yes, man of God. Um, Nanaya Japan says, too much ignorance in the body of Christ. Mm. Oh Lord, have mercy on us. Jesus. I can't thank God enough for the life of Pastor Bed. Keep on being a blessing Amen. to us. Amen. Again, some um, Kwesi Edu Yenupra says that this money getting missing thing, eh, this teaching <laughs> would definitely make me understand a lot of <laughs> <laughs> Francis Denichu, he said, how can I have an encounter with this man of God? You're already encountering him here. You can also pick up an executive VIP, mm -hmm. VVIP mm -hmm. ticket to meet mm -hmm. God's servant one-on-one. Philip Toklu says, Papa, I have a question, an important one, and it's a question the man of God will come to deal with in later weeks to come. I'm at a place where there are dwarfs and jane spirits that have been disturbing my students, especially the Muslim girls. How can I set them on fire? Make sure next week you are joining us um, concerning the teaching. God's servant will be de delving much um, into it. Natalie Ayajeman Mante from UK. Natalie, you said, lack of knowledge makes us perish. Mm -hmm. Father, we thank you for Pastor Obed. Yes, you want to send in your offering right now. God's servant has taught expansively on the place of cherubs, on the place of um, cherubs in aiding the ministry and in bringing materiality, bringing divine work to pass. Tonight, you want to sow a special seed, a special offering. Listen, this is a ministry where every week we are seeing countless, diverse, mind-blowing works of God from healings, miracles, signs and wonders, prophecies of all sorts. Yeah. I want you tonight to give a special seed, not the regular offering you are given. Mm -hmm. And the seed you are given, it is to the effect that let the cherubs that are at work in the ministry of Pastor Bed. Jesus. Listen, this, it, it, uh, mind you, I, I said it's not the regular offering. You want to take a special, a special seed. Mm -hmm. And this seed, you want to tie it with a matter of your life that you need speedy help. Mm -hmm. For me tonight, that emergency help that you need, mm -hmm. that quick help, that shortcut help, mm -hmm. that immediate help, that matter of your life that you need instant help with it. Distance cannot be a barrier. No, no. If God is riding on the wings of the wind, is riding on chariots, to what is the matter of distance? Jesus. God from heaven to earth is not a distance to. Is it from Ghana to wherever no. it is? Listen, no. that is why you want to take a special seed. This is not the regular midweek offering you are giving. No, you want to give a special seed on this one. And this special seed, it is that chariots at work in the ministry of Pastor Bed. Jesus. What are you waiting for? Jesus. This matter is not a matter for my chariots. If my chariots are being with me and they have not handle this matter. I am referring this issue of my life to the cherubs at work in the ministry of Pastor Bed. Jesus. If you don't believe your cherubs, at least you have seen the cherubs at work in the ministry of Pastor Bed. You have seen the miracles. You have seen the healings. You have seen the wonders. You have seen the prophecies. You have seen the impact of the prophetic. You have seen divine protection. Come to God's people. You have seen help. Timeless help. Tonight is a night of a lifeline to your deadline. Listen, if you, if you don't have any deadline, you are not the one we are dealing with. Mm -hmm. If you don't have a matter that you need emergency help, mm -hmm. you need quick divine help, you are not the one we are dealing with. What? Tonight, what? you have an issue. Mm -hmm. There is a matter that you need divine intervention. Quick one. There is a matter in your life you don't understand. You need revelation concerning it tonight. A certain knowledge must be brought to you in your dream tonight. You are releasing that special seed. You are saying, God, if what your servant has said is true, which I know it is, mm -hmm. because the evidences are there, let me receive quick help, even as God's servant prays for us. I stretch forth my hand and I declare in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. That right now, as you send in your seed, that special seed, mm -hmm. Jesus name. may you receive a response from heaven. In Jesus' name. That will prove that God is right on time and never delayed. I command blessings to come your way in the name of Jesus. Amen. I call it done. Amen. 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 God's servant has called it done. And it's done. Tomorrow at 
6 a.m. We'll be right here on, for the Breakthrough Morning Devotion with God's Servant on this platform. You don't want to miss out on that. You want to set your alarm. You want to get yourself geared up for it. 6 a.m. We'll be right here on this platform for the Breakthrough Morning Devotion with God's Servant, Pastor Ben. It will be an awesome time in God's presence. Remember, Sunday at 8 a.m., service takes off right here in Asokori Mampo mm -hmm. and across various locations right here in Ghana. If you are outside of the country, you can join any of our churches in U.S., in Vietnam, in Singapore, where wherever CCI is located. If where CCI is, where you are, CCI is not present, remember you can join the CCI virtual church. All you just have to do is to go to Facebook and type in CCI online platform. Just go to Facebook, type in CCI online platform and send a request to be admitted onto the platform and you can experience our live services. Sundays, 8 a.m., we take off with God's servant on the virtual church and it promises to be a gracious encounter that will turn your life around. God bless you for joining us tonight on Sun Sum Sem. We'll be coming your way same time next week. Have a shalom week. God bless you.